Hey, yo, what's good? So, James DeGale beats Andre Durrell on PBC on NBC. Once again, Al Heyman delivers with a very good, a very good fight. Very good fight on television. I, I really didn't have a favorite. I wasn't really paying much attention to this fight or its promotions. And I didn't really know much about Andre Durrell or James Aguil. I know they were very good fighters. I The only time I seen James Aguil fight was on a fight he did with um, on the same card as George Groves. I know he lost to George Groves in the past. But I, I would have I said from that evening, I would have favored James Aguil in a rematch against George Groves. And I knew that Andre Durrell was very talented, very fast, very quick. But he lost to he lost to Carl Froch and he got you know he got a concussion from Arthur Abraham and he's been very inactive since. So I was like, ah, I don't know who to favor. And the first two rounds it looked like uh, Andre Durrell was gonna was gonna, you know, box box uh, um DeGale's ears off. He was just throwing that jab, moving his feet, throwing that left hand, and then in, but it in in the final Moments, it was like a minute left or something like that. He hit that overhand left, just drops him like a tree, dude. Like timber, boom. I was like, oh, whoa, okay, okay. Drops him again. I was like, wow, this might be a quick night, man. He won the the next few rounds, but he could not get him out there. Yet. He has he has power. He he was the more powerful puncher of the two. He was landing the cleaner shots, the ones that the the ones that looked cleaner and harder that's why he was winning those rounds around around six the tight started to change and Andre Durrell started to throw those four, four or five punch combinations da, 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 da. they weren't doing damage but they were winning him rounds so and he was moving and by like round eight he was like talking to him hey well, come on motherfucker he's like yeah yeah come on let's work let's work you know after the round doing the face off talking He's like, I was like, okay, okay. This this turned out to be a fight, and it was a good fight. Um, till round ten, I had it dead even, 94-94, just like the broadcasters had it. But I, I was like, oh man, James aguil has been laying an egg since he got that knockout. He just been trying to knock him out. In rounds eleven and twelve were the were the rounds that needed to be won, and I gave him to James Aguil. He just landed the harder punches, the cleaner punches. He, he hit harder, so the punches that he landed looked better. So you gave him those rounds because also because Andre Durrell was kind of, of, I would say, hesitant of throwing because he didn't want to get hit with that overhand left. That's what happened after the second round, but until he got his confidence back in the sixth. But then he, he started getting caught in the 11th and 12th, and he lost those rounds. And that's why... It was a very good fight, very close fight, but I had a 114-112 for, um, for Degel, so six rounds to six, but the thing that won Degel the round, the fight, were those two knockout, knockdowns, so very entertaining fight, um, I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch, I'd like to see the rematch on, you know, it's entertaining, it's on TV for free, love it, love good fights, love them on free TV like this, thank you Al Heyman once again, and... When the new <laughs> IBF champion of the world, the one that Carl Froch vacated to not fight DeGale. So I could see why he ducked, why he ducked DeGale because he's a very good fighter and Carl Froch is in the tail end of his career. All right, everybody. Um, What do you guys think is next for DeGale? Do you guys want to see a rematch? What do you guys think is next for Andre Durrell? Two very good fighters. I wouldn't mind seeing either of them again or a rematch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.